Hey, it's time for our J refresher. Since ultimate has arrived, Delia's dance has become meta and I'll explain why. A lot of people say it's just to reset neutral, right? You do this, you react, you reset neutral. Because if you don't, this is unsafe, minus 13, but there's way more things you can do with that. Of course, it's not just because you can reset neutral, right? This is minus seven and then you're here, but it's also because when you do back three and you finish, this um a gap at the end. And the way to prevent the gap is to interrupt it with that. That's true, but there's another reason why that people are not talking about enough. It's because when you hit confirm, remember when we used to hit confirm with that? 180 damage is going to do a bit less, way less actually, but it doesn't cost a bar. You can use your bars for zoning then. You just keep jailing with that. That's why I love that move. It's like free jails. Thank you very much. I can jail forever. So it's really up to you if you want to use your bar for this and then you know you're at advantage plus 16 right assume that it's gonna be blocked though and then if they move you can try to yolo a, a blazing nitro kick you know and this one might hit one of them might hit or one of them might not hit at all and this thing one will hit so it's really up to you if you want to use either or historically i've just been doing this like that and not using the normal eraser rang and just using all my bar for this just in case. But honestly, just looking at the damage difference, it's pretty much the same, so it's up to you. So that's the purpose of that. And then when they block, right, you can still throw it out there. You react, and by the time you react, you're able to hit confirm into a NAMP. So that's why this move is so strong. So when they're conditioned to no longer try to flawless block you, or actually not just that, but to block down, not to block high, because blocking high, okay, look at the distance after the four. She's just a little bit after the computer. You see where the computer is? All right, she's right there. So now we're going to get her to duck. Look at where she's going to land. No, she's not doing it properly. Let's uh, stance hold. So she's a bit farther. I can't touch her with my back three when she stands. And now I touch her with my back three. Yeah, okay, she, she is closer. You keep her close to her when you duck. When you're forcing her to duck. Sometimes back three touches, sometimes it doesn't because this game is crap. But you just have to take a small step forward and you can keep reinforcing your pressure. Compared to if she stands, she gets moved away too much, right? You have to take a more significant step forward than if she's down because there's a little bit less pushback when she's down. Plus if she's up, she's standing, it's gonna be easier for her to move away. So the J is going to do this here. She reinforces our pressure. She whiffed like an idiot, but I'm here. I move back. I create this distance. All right, I do this. I'm standing. She almost touched me. Okay, let's do it down. Now she touches me. You see? So it makes a difference. At the end of this string against Jade, you want to stand. Even if you're not even going to try to flawless block, just stand and backdash. And that's how you take away her pressure, right? And even here, I could whiff punish her. Do it again properly. There you go. Things like that, or if you just don't want to even take the risk, back dash into back two. So this, even though it's plus five, there are ways around it, and that's why I think the Delia's dance forces them to block low, which removes that little bit of distance that she wants to be able to move out of your plus frames. So it's not just about interrupting the flawless block because most people are not gonna flawless block but anyways there's that and then there's the free plus eight active or uh, hit advantage so this is my build air razor rang edinian spark adelia stance this is the build that tekken master recommends right you got zoning of course everyone knows this and then you have this as well this is good for chip look at this chip damage zoning in this game it's almost like you're not gonna kill them with it but you chip them down so that you can kill them with combos so let's talk about jailing here plus 14 Plus 15, so down 1 has more hit advantage, incredible. And it's 7 frames, alright, so you want to go for down 1 or down 4, which does it gel. Yeah, down 4 is more so for, you have to move forward. Uh, looks hard to reinforce if I'm here. Looks a little bit difficult to reinforce things, you have to take a step forward and do down and back 2 to gel properly. Or, you have to take a full step forward. Actually, I'm going to test this out with myself.
Yeah. So from here, you have to take a step forward to gel. It's not a perfect gel, so you have to have time to to uh, to crouch. And when I crouch, it actually makes her back three whiff. I can actually poke out of it in some instances. Not down four. If I try to YOLO my down two, doesn't work. If I try to... Oh, I can slap. It's not a, a very good gel. It's not the best gel. I mean, like, down four into back three. I think it's probably better to down four and to take a small step forward and two back two. Depends on how crazy your opponent is. You know, the crazy YOLOers of Combat League, I would not take a step forward to try to do back three. But when you do down one and two back three, that's a gel with a mid, which is nice. Well, it's the same shit, essentially. But, right, you could do this gel with two one. I don't want you to gel with 1-2 because right, she gets off her feet and it's difficult to convert. You can't really convert. right? So for example, if I do this, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. So if you're going to gel with fast uh, highs, you want to gel with 2-1 like that. Let's see if it converts. Yeah, but this is 190 damage when you could do back 3. So you want to always gel with back 3 in my opinion. See, she doesn't have time to reduck because... This is plus 15, this is 11. 11 is faster than 15, therefore it's a perfect gel. Right? So after bat down one, you do this one, you can do uh, down three as well. Yeah, down three into back three is, all, is also good. I like down three because the other jade rises, you see? It's easier to see. This is easier, easier to see and hit confirm than this. Because here she's like already crouched, like before almost. So gels into down three, careful with down three into sending two, it doesn't reach, right? And for this one, down four, this one is good into back two, all right. And of course there are some mix-ups, unsafe though, with four two into the low projectile, very unsafe, or even this one here. There are better alternatives, other moves to use if you want to mix than this, but I'm not going to talk about every single move in this video. This is just a quick overview. Then the other build that I have is always the Leah's Dance. Like I said, I've already explained that one. And then the Pole Vault and the Blazing Nitro Kick. I use Pole Vault to mix this one from time to time. This is minus three, therefore you can abuse the down one after this. You have to be careful though because the opponent can take back their turn by poking you as fast as they can. But anyways, so Pole Vault, I like doing this because you can end the 4-2 safely. You can end the back one safely. Plus, you have the when you attach the Blazing Nitro Kick, you get plus frames. It's not a lot though, minus three. Right, you can try to sweep. This is gonna get interrupted. L let's say they block low, because I don't want them to go flying all over the place, which by the way, you wanna stand if she does that to you. Look at the di difference here, okay? Look at where she is. She's right here. Now I'm gonna get her to block high. You see where she is now? That makes a huge difference with plus frames. So let's put her on duck. This is plus 3, okay? This is 11. 11 minus 3 is what? This is not it. 8 frames. This is why you get outpoked a lot. So what I recommend, don't follow up with back 3 unless they're respectful, unless they always keep blocking. If they try to trade, you're gonna have to do down 1. And this is gonna be a guaranteed down 1. That's why this is cool. Guaranteed down 1. And by the way, we didn't talk about that with Blazing Nitro Kick, but special cancelling is really annoying for others, right? And you can't, of course, hit confirm to keep it safe. Which, by the way, after you know, when you hit confirm that move often on block, and they're used to you hit confirming it, or amping it, I mean, you can just abuse and be greedy with your bar and not amp it. <laughs> There's enough spacing... By the time they react, you're going to be fine. From time to time, don't always do it. Eventually, they might uh, adapt. But anyway, so Blazing Nitro Kick guarantees a down one to keep your pressure. Just, be, just you know, know that after you've done your down one on block, your turn is over. You have to block. So what you can do, if they're respectful, that's when you can grab. Or you can keep your pressure going. I would recommend probably keeping your pressure going because that pressure is pretty... Significant. I like it. Just keep in mind They can duck after right? This is not the, the frames are not high enough for you to gel with back two. So careful with that This is more a thing that you probably want to uh, you know, Reinforce with uh, something else and of course if they stand You can touch with back one 
You can touch with forward two and save though. Keep in mind you have to do it immediately, right? You hold three and then you do it because if you delay, see how if I'm doing it as fast as possible, it's fine. But let's say I delay, they can duck it. So be careful. But of course with Delia's dance, they're not gonna duck shit, so you're good. Let's look at other types of techs with her. There are quite a few things that are really interesting that you might not really realize. Like standing three pushes people away, which is nice when you wanna do this. There's a lot of good players that they do stuff like um, a lot of backdashing into back two to whiff punish you on, on all sorts of things, right? Every time they, you know, they're fighting you like this, they're fighting you, then they see you rushing in, they take a back step and then do back two. And her movement is really good. Her walk forward is really good too. Good speed. But the strongest stagger with Jade is without a doubt back three. This is only minus two. It's hard to react to the difference between this and this because of the way the leg falls on the floor, right? She takes a step back on the floor and she does here too. Staggering this one, the back three, uh, four, three. Sorry, just this one. This is not the best stagger because it's minus seven. It's not bad though, right? Because the difference between this and, the, and this. There's a kind of a pause here. So you can abuse it a little bit, but against really good players, eventually they're going to get used to it. So make sure you complete it from time to time, or often. And the back three, back yeah, the back three, this one, checking people like this, just do it once, right? And then it opens them up and you have time to hit confirm. That's an amazing one as well. So abuse this or even this into grab or this into poke. And then you use a head advantage after you hit them to continue your attack. This is absolutely amazing. Oh yeah, and uh, standing one is plus two, by the way. So plus two and then you continue your attack with back three. Standing four is plus three, continue your attack with this. Just careful, this is duckable. And this is like, looks like there's a lot of recovery here. Yeah, 20 recovery. So if they duck this, you're going to get punished. Whereas if they duck this... Yeah, well, it's still 18 recovery, but just the startup is faster. Yeah, if you want to confuse people, right? Um, jumping using plus frames, forcing the plus frames. That's always good. And this is a pretty good one to shimmy, I think. 2-1. Because this looks like this, right? This looks like this. But you have to complete it, it's not very hit confirmable. There's a full stop at the end of the string, so you can't special cancel it. Anyways, that's Jade for you. Don't you low down too too much. Use this for anti airs and stuff, but please stop being a scrub. When you get knocked down, don't wake up like this. <laughs> Anyways, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, peace.